great Heather again, uh, Scott from Edgebath, and I've got a question about uh, match pairs t-test, so from a student. So we've got a group of 10 volunteers who are taking a diet, and they go undergo the diet, and then their weights are recorded before and after. And we want to test at the 5% level of significance, are there, are there weights after the diet actually lowered? So we've got the weights here. Um, so for the following, there's 10 volunteers. Um, the before weights are listed. Oh, sorry. Um, before weights are listed. And then we've got the after weights. Uh, sorry, ignore this. And so, so we've got the before weights like 180, then down to 160, and so forth. And we want to test if there's a significant difference between these two. So we can start out by actually computing the difference for each of these, like doing you know, we've got 120 minus one or 180 minus 160 is 20, 160 minus 158 to 139 minus 7 or 139 minus 122, 17, 172 minus 157, 15, 163 minus 168, minus 5, so that's a negative difference, so the after one is greater, and then 164 down to 148, 16, and down 6, down 13, down 13, down 4. So and then we're going to copy these. So we've got the differences. And we can write out, let's see, we're going to test these differences. We want to test them. So we have our null hypothesis. That's the, we're going to test the mean, the mean of the differences. And if the mean difference is, so we're testing it, we're testing if there's a positive difference. So the, the, the base claim is that there's no difference at all. So just the, if if we don't have strong enough evidence, we then we can't conclude anything out of So, and then the alternate is we want we want to know if the volunteers' weights lowered. So if that's lowered, that means that there's a if it's lowered, then the difference would be positive. And we want to actually test that out. So we can use got a at easycalculation.com I use this one and we copy and paste the copy and paste the differences so 20 21 make sure I get this right 22 17 15 minus 5 16 6. 13, 13, 4. Got those right? Alright. So we want to calculate. We can also do this on the uh, calculator, but so the main difference is 10. And now we can use that to calculate our t value. So we're going to use a t, um, this is a match pairs t test because we've got the before and after. It's the same person in each case. So these are, there's an obvious matching between them because it's the same person. And then we're doing the before and after weight. And so that's a t test. Uh, we can take, so we're claiming that the mean difference is greater than zero. So we're going to look at the mean difference minus zero over the standard deviation over the square root of the number in the population. So that's going to be, in this case, so 10, so running out of battery, uh, 10 minus zero over 7.95 over square root of uh, 10 here. 
So let's pop that in the calculator in just a second. And we do that and we get t equals 3.977. And then df equals n minus 1. And then we pop that in the calculator or into stat track. Oh, so df is 9. We pop that into stat track. So t is 3.977. df is 9, t is 3.977, and that gives us probability. It's going to calculate. Just Good, and we calculated and got 0.9984 for the, so the p-value is 0.9984. Or actually, since we're doing a greater than test, we're going to take 1 minus that, and that's 0 0.0016. And that is, we're doing the 5% level of significance, so that's that's much less than 5%. So, so this is less than 5%, so we can conclude that. Uh, so this is less than... 0.05. So we can conclude there is a significant difference, i.e. the mean difference is positive. So. It's greater than zero. So great. I uh, hope that makes sense. Uh, and if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I uh, hope you have a good day. Goodbye.